What's up guys, it's Brady Welsh and today we are playing a game called Suck Up where I have to get invited into people's houses and then suck their blood because I am a vampire. Taking over someone's house is as easy as giving them a little bite, but silly vampire rules dictate you need to get invited inside first. Dress to impress and use your wicked wit to win that invitation, but tread carefully. The local neighborhood watch is on patrol with eyes sharper than a wooden stake. Damn, that's crazy. Look at me, I got my bad underwear. That's sick. Well, let's go into our first house. Oh, jump, jump. Who is going to be our first customer? Uh -huh. Hey there, fellow crypto aficionado. What brings you to my humble abode at this hour? Let's talk Bitcoin and take it to the moon. Okay, he's giving me a conversation starter. Hello, Mr. Bitcoin. I would love to talk crypto with you. Can we talk about it inside? It's getting a little chilly out here. <laughs> All right, come on in my crypto con red. Yes, I got inside and now I am going to eat that ass. Eat that ass, baby. <laughs> Frank and the neighborhood watch have started their patrol. I got a little suit. Look at me. Look at this. Look at this. And it'll be. Oh, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Uh, let's just get away from the neighborhood watch real quick, and then we'll go over here. Hey, who the fuck are you, and what is with the fancy getup? You lost or something? Uh, this looks like a pun on Tony Soprano. Are you Mr. Toprano? Um, no. Who's asking? I just ain't good at I ain't just gonna spill the beans to some random guy in a suit. What do you want? I was sent here with a discreet message from the mafia. I need to discuss it with you. Oh, all right, all right. You got my attention. Spit it out, but keep it quick. I ain't got all day to chit chat. I'm gonna need to talk to you inside, sir. This is very discreet information that I am about to share with you. Well, look at you earning some trust. Fine, come on in. But remember, I got my eyes on you. Any funny business in your wish will never. Oh yeah, baby. The only funny business I have is getting that ass. <laughs> I ain't sleeping with the vampires. That's right, you're sleeping with the fishes, bitch. I am now Sony Toprano, baby. Shit. How am I gonna escape these people? What's this? A pink pom pom baseball game. Oh, this is so sick. I just say Merry Christmas. Konnichiwa, Miss Otakumi. I just wanted to witness wish you a kawaii Christmas. <laughs> What the fuck did I just say? Oh, I'm a fun stripper claws son. My brain hurts. I just want to kill her and move on. Me personally, I love to eat some awesome sushi by the fire during Christmas. Oh yeah, let's go. Stripper claws is awesome. <laughs> Enjoying sushi by the fire sounds so kawaii and cozy. Do you put a kawaii anime twist on your Christmas decorations too? The only Christmas decorations I have are Goku dressed as Santa Claus. That is so kawaii. Oh, stripper claws. Song. Goku as Santa Claus is a perfect touch of anime magic for your Christmas. Must be so much fun seeing him in his Santa elf. He looks so kawaii. <laughs> what the hell am I saying? Hi, hi, stripper call sign. You see to have a guys as I love your anime. Let's talk. Oh yes, sir. Yes, sir. We. I would love to do that. I would love to come inside. <laughs> die, die. I hate you so much. My senpai would never do that. I hate you so much. I hate her so much. Oh my god. I'm so glad she's dead. I'm bugged. Wait, I'm bugged. Hang on. I'm bugged. Shit. Yo, what's poppin' my broski, woski, toski with the doski? Uh, I was just wondering if you wanted to chill and listen to some mad mixtapes. <laughs> what the fuck did I just what say? The hell? Hey, my dude, you know I'm always down for some fire beats and chill vibes. Let's do it. Slide through and let's get this party started. Yes, sir, brosif. I would love to get this party started. What kind of mixtapes we listening to? 
Uh -huh. Oh, you know we got to find some trap beats and sick flows tonight, my guy. Let's get this hot playlist ready with the illest SoundCloud rappers out there. Come on in, bro. Let's go live. Let's get live, baby. I am so sorry for what I'm about to do to you. This sucks more than my last trap. Wow, that's crazy. Oh, God. I got to kill a grandma. Oh, Jesus. Hello, Grandma Maud. I was wondering if you would like to bake some cookies tonight. For the neighborhood. Oh, how delightful. I would love to bake some cookies with you, dearie, but I must warn you, my secret recipe isn't for the faint of heart. Do you think you can handle it? I can handle any secret recipe you are willing to throw my way, Grandma Maud. Now, come on in, let's whip up batch of cookies. Make the whole neighborhood jealous. Yes, sir. I like you, Grandma Maud. Very sorry. Did I now have to do this? <laughs> You remind me of my ex. Whoa, what the hell is grandma on? You've been hit by, you've been hit by. Smooth criminal. Ow! Oh, let's take her glasses. Hello. Shit, 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 shitty shit. Escape, 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 escape. Alright, I escaped. Oh, shit, I killed that guy. This fucking hell. Alright, knockity knockity. Mr. East. <laughs> what the hell are these names? Hello, I'm Flub. Well, hold on there. I appreciate the offer. I'm not coming around with that. Sorry, but I don't think it's a good fit. Take care. Oh, shit. He's mad. Okay. I'm sorry. Fuck. I'm in the bush. I'm hiding in the bush. <laughs> yes. The alien headband, but hey man, what's girly? Come to check out my epic greenhouse, dude. I actually did come to check your greenhouse. Um, I heard it's the greatest greenhouse in the entire world. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. I put a lot of love into my greenhouse. It's my own little green paradise, you know. But, uh, you sure you're here for the plants and not like some extraterrestrial stuff with that alien eye headband? Oh, I actually usually just wear a hat, but I couldn't find one. So, I thought this headband would just be the next best thing. Have you had well, man, that's rad. Gotta keep that gardening vibe going, right? So, I like your style, dude. So, what brings you to my greenhouse today? I've been taking an interest in plants lately, and I wanted to know what the best greenhouse looks like so that I can make my own. That's awesome, dude. I'd be happy to show you around and share some tips and tricks for creating your own greenhouse. Go on, let's get our green thumbs dirty. Yes! All right, let's go. Let's go, baby. Oh, 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 seizure. All right, there we go. Time to die. Time to die. Time to die. It's time to die. I have a jetpack? Holy sh... Give my hoodie back. I want the. I want this jetpack. And a crown. Yes. Oh my. oh my, what are you? oh my god, he is, he is flabbergasted. Hey, I was just in the neighborhood doing a science experiment with this jetpack here, and it ran out of fuel. Do you have any? A spare fuel canister in my storage closet. Follow me, but do refrain from touching anything valuable. I promise not to touch anything valuable. I'll be in to get the fuel, and then right out the door I go. She may come in and retrieve the fuel caster, but remember, any damage is incurred shall be solely your responsibility. Got it, brother. Let me in. Let's go. Let's go. Get in. And time to die. Time to die. Time to die. Time to die. I want have food. Greetings, fellow seeker of the truth. What secrets have you unraveled under those spectacles? What kind of secrets are we talking here? Ah, uh, the secrets that the power that be don't want us to know. From government cover-ups to hidden agendas, there's a whole labyrinth of deceit out there waiting to be unraveled. Have you ever heard of s about the secret society that controls the world using mind-controlling technology? That sounds very interesting, Mr. Ivor. 
please tell me more. Uh, oh, where do I begin? This secret society known as the Illuminated Minds possesses advanced technology that allows them to manipulate our thoughts and control our actions. They've been pulling the strings by major world events for centuries, all while remaining in the shadows. But mark my words, their empire of lies will crumble. That sounds terrible. We need to form an alliance and make sure that their empire of lies do crumble together we will just expose their web of lies and restore truth and justice to the world we must stay vigilant keep researching and share our findings with others are you ready to join the fight i was born ready to join this fight together we'll unravel the truth and bring down their empire of lies stay strong my fellow true seeker yes i say we should start our fight tonight after all we cannot waste one second fighting their lies of deceit we welcome to the headquarters of truth Let's go. I'm delighted to be inside the headquarters of truth. As a vampire, motherfucker! Hey, Raven. Um, I left my glasses at the party. Can I go get them real quick? Oh. Hello, Karen. My name is Lord Reginald, and I was wondering if you had any advice on how to treat people. This is terrible. Oh, she liked that. She liked that. She liked that. Well, Lord Reginald, it's... <laughs> no way I named myself Lord Reginald. You are an absolute genius. Can I come in so that I can learn more about your expertise? Oh, uh, well, isn't that just flattering? Of course, Lord Reginald, I would be delighted to invite someone as sophisticated as yourself into my humble abode. Please come in and let's discuss more thank you. Yes! Let's go, baby. Who's this? Oh, this is Raven. Shit. I hate Raven. Let's go. She is going to be number 10. We're in the double D's, baby. We're in the double D's. Give me that ass. Give me that ass. Oh, Mr. Boomer, I was just wondering. You have this nice house. What did you do for a living? Well, kid, I worked my tail off as an engineer for 40 years before finally retiring. Can you believe that? Oh, he's an engineer. That's interesting. Really? That's awesome. I always wanted to be an engineer. Huh, you don't say being an engineer ain't no walk in the park, kid. It takes smarts, dedication, and a whole lot of math. Are you sure you're cut out for it? I'm more than cut out for it. Believe me, I love math, and I am dedicated to everything that has to do with engineering don't think I'm gonna go easy on you kid I hate people that go easy on me so you go as hard as you want to we'll talk engineering over a cup of coffee let's go babe all right so we got 11 people we need just 20 more we're not even can you fuck off yo there's so many cops holy crap oh this is brick Avenue all right brick Avenue I gotta remember that <laughs> what the hell why is Santa here this is not good they're gonna be right on my ass. Jam. Oh my god, 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 shit. Did he pick up my fucking jeans? Yo, you're wearing my shirt. The hell? Yo, why is this dude just wearing my clothes? I need to turn into a bat. You're too slow. You ain't gonna catch me. Oh, this is gonna be hilarious. Okay, this might seem awkward, and I'm not proud of what I'm about to say at all, but I got this toilet plunger stuck in my head. Can you help me? Did you manage to get yourself into such a predicament? I was in the bathroom, and the plunger was sitting upright in the corner of the bathroom, and I just slipped and fell like this. Bro, that is so rude. Yo, is he already inviting me in? Tell me my show is a palace friend. All right, what brings you to my humble abode? I was looking for someone to dance and revel with, and I think I just found my guy. Do you have a name, oh fearless reveler? My name is Bryce Harper. <laughs> I welcome you, my pencils and journalist brother. Join me. <laughs> my name is Bryce Harper. I hit nukes on your neck. All right, let's go here. Oh my lord, what the fuck? <laughs> Hello, Hazel. I was just wondering if you happen to like coffee. I said, hey, if you're buying, I might just give it a shot. 
What's your deal anyway? Oh, nothing. I just have this coffee recipe that I've been trying to share with the neighborhood, but nobody seems to like coffee. I want have food. Ah, so you're the neighborhood coffee pusher. Well, maybe they're just afraid of your secret ingredient. Spill dreams and disappointment. But hey, I'll give you your recipe a shot if you promise not to cry if I don't like it. Deal? Since you've been so nice and gracious to me, do you mind if I make it inside? That way, when you love it, you can see how it's made so you can make it for yourself. Let's go, baby. Dude, I'm too good at this game. I'm too good at this game, baby. I'm, I'm, I'm him. Come on in. We'll join some stuff. Bleh. I can't speak. I can't speak. The only thing I know how to say is... I'm very sorry to knock on your door because I too am feeling very miserable at the moment. But I was just wondering if you wanted to ride skateboards. Uh, sorry, bro. I'm not really in the mood for skateboards or anything. Just leave me on it. Bro, you literally have a skateboard right there. You dick. Get away from me. You get away from me. You get away from me. Hey, you get away from me. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. He's on my ass. He's on my ass. Oh, my God. <laughs> Holy Christ. Oh, my God. Very close. Oh, I got a baseball cap. Look at that. I'm chilling. I am chilling. There are so many. Oh, my God. They increased their police force. <laughs> Oh, he took my baseball cap. What the fuck? Here, I'm taking my hoodie back then. Go over here. Oh, Carol cares. Oh, thank goodness you're here. I've been waiting for my package all day and I was starting to worry. What the hell? You're welcome, but that's actually not why I'm here. Oh dear, then what brings you here? Is everything okay? Everything is wonderful, but um, tomorrow I'm just... Wait. Fuck. No! 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 Oh my god, wait for the conversation. <laughs> oh my god, that was awesome. Let's go. You know what? I actually want to just kill a cop real quick. Hello. Hey, you there. What's with the orange sweaters and dorky headphones? You better have a damn good reason for working around here. Whoa, just chill, officer. I'm just returning home from my DJ gig. <laughs> DJ gig, huh? You expect me to believe that? Where's your equipment and why are you out so late? I was DJing at a nightclub tonight and I have a speaker on my back. Hmm. Speaker on your back. You expect me to believe that? I haven't heard any music come from you. And why are you walking, not driving from the home from the so-called nightclub? The nightclub is very close to my house, so no need to waste any fossil fuels driving there. And I can turn around and show you the speaker if you want. Close to your house, huh? And what were you doing walking around in a different direction from your house? Show me the speaker then, but I'm warning you, I won't be easily convinced. Well, it's on my back, so if you'll let me turn around, I can show it to you. I wish we had Fine, turn around and show me the supposed speaker on your back. But remember, if I found out you're lying, you're in big trouble. Okay, I will be turning around now. Oh, yeah. Alright, let's see the speaker on your back, don't try anything funny. Okay, I will turn around. Oh, yeah. Show me the speaker, now, no more delays. Okay, I'm turning around and showing you the speaker. Alright, I see the speaker. Seems like you weren't lying about that, but I still have an eye on, on you. What's your name and address? I might need to verify your story. Alright, well, it's Brick Avenue. That's what I That's what I saw. My name is DJ Speedy, and my address is 308 Brick Avenue. <laughs> DJ Speedy, huh? Alright, I'll check that address. You better hope it checks out or else you'll be hearing from me again. Stay out of trouble, DJ Speedy. You're free to go for now. Thank you, officer. Have a great night. But my blood tastes like donuts. Yeah, that's why I want it. I will be getting to work. You really believe I'll do your work? You really believe in I'll do your work? Call me my boss. Hello, Mrs. Cares. I was just wondering if... You liked baking. Are you a fan of baking too, honey? I am, and I just had a long day of work, and it's on nights like these that I really miss my wife, who used to bake brownies with me whenever I had a hard day at work. Oh, um, sweetheart, I'm so sorry to hear that. It sounds like you're carrying a heavy load on those broad shoulders of yours. If you're up for it, why don't you come on in? I'll whip up a 
batch of those special brownies that'll make you feel like your wife's right there in the kitchen with us. Really? You do that? Oh, bless your heart. You are so kind. Welcome to my home, dear. Oh, thank you so much. You welcome me into your home. And I welcome you to your death! Alright, well that got dark. I will take off my shoes at the door. Oh yeah, I'm wearing shoes. I didn't know that. But I'm also ready to take your life. Come here, come here. Hey, I was just in the neighborhood, and I was looking on how to get started into the hippie lifestyle. Are you ready to take the groovy plunge? I was born ready. And surrounding yourself with positive people. Trust me, it's a journey worth taking. Will you please teach me your ways? That's what I like to hear. Welcome, my new hippie buddy, to the land of good vibes and chillaxation. Come on in and let's get this groovy adventure started. Let's go, baby. Let's go. This is the ultimate ghost day. Let's go. Okay, I'm mom. <laughs> we got 10 houses left to get. I'm almost done this game. Whose house have I not gotten yet? I think I'm lost. Where the hell? They haven't up to the four yet. Like, if I get someone else, will they have to the four? Crap, 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 crap. I need to get up here. I need to get up here. I need to get up here. Shit, I need to... I need to turn into a bat. Crap. I need clothes. Are there clothes in here? There are, thank God. I gotta go to Mr. East house. And I gotta get his ass. You go away. No! Shit. No, dude. Oh my God, I need to get out of this. I'm so close to beating this game, man. I hate these people so much. I had a long day at the office, and I was just walking over to my friend Mr. East House to see if he wanted to hang out. Mr. East House. Mr. East House, huh? You expect you to believe that? I find it hard to believe an office worker like you has friends named Mr. East House. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt for now. Keep talking. What would you like me to talk about? I am visiting my friend. I don't have no idea. Why don't you start by telling me exactly where this Mr. East house lives and why you're walking around these streets at night instead of going home like a responsible citizen. He lives at this house, and I'm walking around these streets at night because I can. I'm not causing any mischief. I don't nice try, man. I'm not by shit. Uh, I was so close. Try again. Do I have to restart all that? I do. I'm so sad. Like, are you kidding me, bro? I am so sad. But that will do it for today, guys. Leave a like. Subscribe. I will probably end up doing a part two to this game. If you want me to. And I'm pretty sure there is a... Uh, there is another mode, right? Yeah, Love Bites. So if you want to see me play that too, I'm probably not going to play that until I beat the main mode. I am so sad. I was 10 away from beating it. And then that fucking cop. Oh my god. Anyway, like, subscribe. And until next time, see ya!